In this video, I'll show you how to build a birdhouse with a Camry inside. Let's get right to it. I'll start with a 1x8x6 and cut it down into smaller pieces before moving over to the table saw. I like to use a speed square when cutting boards with the circular saw. It gives me very straight and clean cuts. Some of the pieces will require a 45 degree angle, so I'll adjust the blade accordingly. It's chilly outside this morning, so I'll warm up with some good old fashioned hand sawing. On to assembly. I'll start by making sure all the pieces align together properly. If minor adjustments need to be made, now is the time. You can use screws to attach everything, but I'll be mostly using nails and glue. I've found on past projects that this old piece of drip edge is great for covering the apex of the roof. I'll use it here again. It will need to be cut to shape, drilled with holes, and attached with four screws. The camera will be installed on the left side of the house and look downward towards the bird nest. I'll use this thick cardboard material to create a divider. This will separate the nesting area from the camera chamber. These wood strips will form a channel for the divider to slot into, allowing for easy removal when necessary. Always great to break out the stubby screwdriver once in a while. These screws are for securing the camera. Cut a hole in the divider, I'll trace the camera outline. I'll cut a little slot for the camera wire to feed through when the front panel is attached. While those wood strips dry, let's get the front entrance hole sorted out. For this house, I'll use a 1 and an 8 inch hole saw to cut the hole. This is the size I need to track the chickadees I want as tenants. I'll leave a list of hole sizes for other birds in the description below. This old gutter downspout will provide the metal I need for an entrance guard. I'll cut it, flatten it, clean it, and secure it with self-tapping gutter screws. With everything dried, the camera chamber can be assembled. Here, I'm cutting a drain hole for the base of the house. The front panel will be attached using screws, so the house can be cleaned at the end of each nesting season. Don't forget to pre-drill and countersink the holes to avoid any splitting wood. A little sanding and the house is all done. Okay, let's get this installed. We are going to need an outdoor electricity source for our bird camp. 
this outlet will do, except that the cover will not protect the plug end once inserted into the outlet. I need to change out this cover for a protective one. This seal can also be removed as the new cover comes with its own. I will use the two screws that are already holding the outlet to secure the new cover as well. No other options here. And, like they say, when life gives you lemons, send them back and demand pizza. Now I just add this dust cover plate and we are good to go. My house has vinyl siding and I do not want to screw directly into it. My solution is to use these specially designed clips that hook under the overlapping edges. I'll attach them using a backboard piece of scrap. And there it is. Here is a live view inside. I added the shavings because apparently chickadees prefer houses that require a little tidying up. Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video and add one of these bird cam houses to your own gardens. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.